Hello everyone and welcome back to Seedonauts. So, if you saw the last uh, episode, you know that I'm in a kind of a bad spot because I lost two of my best soldiers in the last mission. So, if I'm going to replace them, well, I kind of have to replace them, but it will take some time for them to become so good that I can bring I can bring them to the last couple of missions I think so but there is no way around it I just have to hire some more soldiers so we lost two we have enough room for two more soldiers I'm tempted to hire more though because we are going to lose soldiers and uh, we could build a larger dropship to bring more soldiers into missions because we could uh, build the Valkyria which we should do sooner or later so let's fire a couple, a couple of scientists like so and uh, recruit soldiers so we have room for five more soldiers and since it's end game now we really need high bravery to not get uh, mind controlled so we need bravery hp and time units i think that's the most important things right now since we are going to use them as uh, shield guys anyways we don't really need the accuracy that much Hmm. Alright, so I think I need at least 60 bravery. So this one is okay, but really low the time units. But time units you get quite fast, I think. It's much harder to get more HP on your soldiers. This one is good, but really low reflexes. But that might be good to have low reflexes on someone with a shield because that will make the aliens shoot reactionary fire against Sergei instead of more important targets hmm I can't find that many I really like here especially since the bravery is so low if we hide them hmm. well doesn't really matter because we cannot bring everyone with us on the next mission anyway, so... Right? I think that's what our first uh, mag rifle or mag weapon in uh, Central America. So... We actually have one sniper now with a really good weapon. Which will make things easier. And that's also something we could do is to send our best soldiers from um, Central America to Middle East to make a really strong squad right. so we need a uh, mag storm now four days yeah they are not quick to build strike cruiser UFO all right so we dealt with this one I think it was la last episode so it's uh, like they say here it's uh, like a bomber just a larger single seater craft so that's why you never get to do a ground mission against these guys so it's just a upgraded version of the bomber Another Marauder. I think we are getting really good. Um, we are in a good position for the air war at least. Hmm. Should we remove one Foxtrot here and replace with the Marauder? Let's do that so we have three Marauders in every single base. 
I'm tempted to just build another hangar, really. Because I have so much empty space here anyways, so... And they're pretty cheap. So... What do we want to produce in uh, Middle East now? Hmm. Soon a new month. Yeah, let's uh, let's remove one of these fox shots. Doesn't really matter which one, but let's remove the one with most or less skills. And then have the Marauder 9 relocate to Indochina. And uh, hmm. I'm thinking about if we should build the Valkyria now. I guess so. It'll take five days. Five days. I need Sentinel, Sentinel armors as well, but whatever. That's what I have to do. Okay, so we have two new recruits in uh, Middle East. See if we can find any new ones. Seems like it's still the same guys. Do we hire the same guys in every single Violet King? Hire? Yeah, it's the same, same guys in every single. I wonder if they replace uh, monthly. I think that's the case. Okay, a mag storm, perfect. So now we just need a couple of uh, standard rifles, I think. So, mag storm, which means I should almost uh, give her one of these uh, predator armors, but they are so expensive. And not really better than uh, <laughs> the Sentinel armors. Yeah, let's stop out with it. So we need one, two, three, three mag weapons. We actually need one mag pistol because we don't have a single shield guy in this group, which is kind of strange. So I really like. Having uh, soldiers with shields. So now we have a mag pistol and then we need some mag rifles. So let's build uh, two or one. We build one and then have a mag carbine, I think. Makes sense. Okay, so massive carrier, massive carrier, all right. Let's send two marauders against that one, two marauders against this one, and you should be dealt with with one fox trot. And then we have an interceptor, which should be dealt with with the corsair. Let's try out resolve here. Yeah, looks okay. So this was a carrier with civilians and reapers. So, I need the money and I need experience, but I, <laughs> I don't want to lose uh, anyone. Whoa. Okay. Send two fox dots against this one. We'll most likely not be able to intercept, but yeah. Another carrier. Right. Hmm. I'm not sure if 31% ammunition is enough to deal with that. But we'll see. Whoa! It's a battleship. Well, 
and so I'm going to do a terror mission. Andron's hair dance. Oh, a predator. Damn it. And I just spent all my interceptors. Well, let's see if Indochina had the time to go here. Sometimes they, does not, they don't really beeline for a specific target I have found. They kind of move around, but because if you see see this guy he should be heading to one of these whoa what <laughs> I'm not sure what that was oh it was this one hmm I don't like that fox shots cannot uh, catch up with these oh now they did how to resolve <laughs> yeah, they dealt with it, but uh, it took like every single shot. Um, hmm, civilians and reapers. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure about this. I am not sure about this at all. I mean, I need to concentrate on this terror ship. That's for sure, but hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> uh, I mean, it will be night time before I get there anyway. Let's just wait and deal with this one. Oh, okay. So, this is really, really hard to decide what we should do because I don't really want to have a terror mission, but I want him to be over land so I can uh, get any technology from this and perhaps capture the <laughs> predator which will most likely not happen the first time I meet him but I don't really have the I don't really have the fuel to fly with this for very long no. let's just engage it So I'm not sure how to deal with these, but uh, all in is a re really effective way to do it, I think. So, let's see what happens. Alright. Was easy enough, I think, that uh, those. Uh, Torpedoes was enough to deal with it. Right, so I think we should uh, find this scout with 10 civilians and just use uh, Charlie against it. With some easy experience. But we should try to do one of these with our main squad as well. I'm just not sure if I want to deal with civilians. Androns or civilians over here. We have good uh, standings with most of these. Europe is a little bit worse, so perhaps we should try to deal with uh, Androns and Herdans here. Yeah, let's do it. So, dash like this. And I strike this. And let's just wait for daytime. So, 
We have Charlie too here, 26 hours. Let's see. We need to make someone a shield dude. And that should kind of be <laughs> Jaku here. I mean, he was a, um, an assault in the beginning before he got mortally wounded, but... So, yeah... Pretty weak, though. He need to hit the gym a bit. Whatever. Um, oh! And before I forget, let's actually see... Hmm, yeah, dropships. We should try to deal with this problem. Yeah, this is such a f finicky thing to do, but how to do it. Uh, right, so mag pistol at one of the doors. Mag storm should be in front, I think. Uh, mag rifle at the other door and the sniper in the middle. Intercept with Charlie 2. Androns and Herodons. Uh, my uh, like uh, confidence is so <laughs> so low after a couple of missions now when we just have lost a lot of people every single time. Let's use Ruse here. Strike one. Hmm. Change roll. Point man. Um, I think we should bring one of these electroshock grenades since we're fighting androns in this mission. Don't really need that one either. Let's Let's set this as default for a point man. Mm. Badin Boonin, yeah, you will have to be a point man as well. But uh, you're a little bit stronger, so you can bring some other, other things as well. Like so. Intercept. Strike one, two hours. Uh, should be daytime. Hmm. Hand runs, hair dance. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I would like uh, Charlie 2 to get here first so I can do an easy mission. But we have to play with the cards we are dealt, so. Come on, come on. Okay. I like the fact that everyone is facing totally wrong direction. Right, let's do some scouting. Hmm, strange. This is not a very Swedish name. <laughs> Bennett. <laughs> I was thinking about the, the movie Commando. I hope that this guy will survive. I wonder what uh, Bennett's name was in four name was or. Let off some steam, Bennett. So. Uh, we need to be a little bit careful about sniping Androns. Well, sniping Herodons, I should say. Oh, look at this. We have a full police squad with us, so no need to fret. So we'll try to stay out of line of sight here. And 
Vadim Bunin, you will most likely... Hmm, let's fly here. Like a madman. I like to have people on top like that so they can scout, but... At the same time it's a little bit risky. Can be easily <laughs> shot down. Oops. It's actually going to enter the building, not close the door. Uh, let's enter it. I'm concerned about shots from over here. Now these things block like everything. It's 75% block with these uh, shelves, so whoa. Well, we should be able to deal with this guy. At least we dealt with his cover. I uh, bet he's mighty impressed. Okay. Hold up, we have to do the scouting now. I mean, we have two snipers here with very, very good shots, so... Shouldn't be too concerned. back here. It feels like I'm a little bit um, too influenced by the XCOM game that I always try to keep out of line of sight instead of using cover and uh, reaction eye fire. Because if you play if you played XCOM on uh, impossible difficulty you would most likely know that if the aliens can see you you are most likely going to die. That was an easy suppression. Whoa! I had a feeling that there is like a, a gathering of uh, hair downs on top of this building. So like I said, they are kind of sitting ducks when they, you put them on top like that. But at least I used a lot of uh, time units to shoot at my, my scout here. So, I mean, I'm not sure if we can actually deal with them though. Be really nice if you had a line of fire against some of the. Oh, did I forget Alston up here? I guess I did. And um, my snipers are also not in a very good position. Hmm. I think we need to. Uh, get in better position before we try to deal with them. And we can bring uh, Boone in down, so it's not the worst thing. So let's try to scout down here first. Like so. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, this is really, really hard uh, decision because if I, I kind of need to fly up there to deal with them, but the only ones that can do that. Well, like I should, I would have preferred to have line of fire with my snipers and uh, my heavy against these two. But they are staying so far away. And bringing Alston up here 
will not have enough firepower to bring down these guys. And if I bring him here, he might have enough firepower, but then they would have cover. So let's not uh, deal with them right now. Right. And John here as well. Hmm. All right. So let's. Um, should we bring Nira front like this? I think she should be safe. Does she need to be close to do anything useful. It's not like that this guy is in the way. Bring Olaf forward. I'm not sure if we should bring him here. It's actually. Can okay, we have four time units here? But not enough time units to get inside. Strange. Um, Behind this cover, mm. All right? Let's have you cover this area. I wonder if you could uh, have some kind of uh, wire cutters to get through this. So so bad that there is no no way to get outside here. I'm not sure if you can actually hit it with pistol fire or well, bullets like that. Right, so bring the sniper here. She will start flying, but they should have used all the time units to shoot already. So. Hmm. This might be a bad idea. Kind of. Let's take cover here. So these guys, they might go down and uh, shoot from this direction. Can you kneel? Um, or they could stay on the side like this and shoot. It's possible, but not that probable, I hope. So now at least we can use our sniper the next turn. So what I hope is great effect. Hmm, need to decide what to do with Alston. Let's do it like this. We got company. Oh, <laughs> that civilian, he w went totally wrong direction, that's for sure. Oh, look at that. He's shaking. <laughs> he got spooked. Right, we have this guy. But uh, we should check upstairs. By upstairs, I mean on top of the roof. Okay, this guy is way back there. Mm. But at least this guy is not watching the right direction, so. Let's try this. A lot of damage. I don't mind. Prefer a lot of damage or <laughs> too little damage. In case you're wondering. So I have this 
this one, but he didn't shoot at, at us, so I'm thinking he's out of time units. But we also had an Angron in here somewhere. So we need to deal with as many as possible this round. I'm not certain that we will be able to... Nope, he will have cover if I shoot from here. And if I go like this, I could use an aim shot, but he will most likely not die in one shot. And I could use burst fire. But then I'm in the open if I don't kill him. Alright, so let's use Olav first here to deal with this one. Okay. So we actually had some time use left. Pretty impressive. Now he is out of time units for sure. 18 time units. Let's do this. Should have enough to kneel and take a shot. miss. Yeah, Bennett is not easily killed. Or, well, I guess he is if you have seen Commando, but yeah. Mm. So, aim shot, burst fire. Still have our snipers. Let's use burst fire. It's more fun this way. Perfect. Everything is turning out all right. Twenty-six, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty. Would prefer to not. He will have cover if I shoot from over here. That's my problem. And I will scout another guy down there. Hmm. He might run over here and shoot at Nira here. It's kind of bad news. Not much I can do about that though. Let's just use our snipers. Go melee. Ah. Let's go up here and take aim shots. Should be 50% chance at least. Yeah. Which means. Uh, <laughs> almost 0% chance, it seems like. Oh well. Come on, man. Thank you. So. If you don't mind, you might go <laughs> down one step. Um, actually, Alson is in the most trouble here, I think. And uh, I care more about him than about uh, Nira down here, so... Try to give him a smoke cover at least. Like so... Okay. Hmm, well this guy was killed so he might able, be able to run up here now. Okay, still someone is covering that area, oh well. Perhaps he will move aside. Turn back a bit. Not sure who he's shooting at, but I think he's shooting at Bennett. 
I really need to check out some uh, nice uh, commando <laughs> uh, quotes. Mm. Let's try to use Nira. Unlikely to get this kill, but nope. She is delivering. Now I'm almost in a situation where I really want her to survive. So that's really good. I need to level up some new guys. Hmm. How far forward can I go? Let's bring you inside. Start to make some progress here. Um, so bring a shield guy down here. Hmm. I'm not sure if we should take the front entrance or wait a little bit get to the side entrance. Let's bring uh, Bennett on the side. Hmm. Let's scout a bit with Olav here. Since the aliens can see further than my soldiers can, I almost have to do that if I want to feel safe. My sniper is in position for shooting anything that moves. Like this. Hmm, Elston, you are actually alive. Congrats. Scout. Right. I bet I forgot someone flying around in the middle of nowhere. But controlling so many soldiers is it's hard. Hmm. Don't really have anyone that's close enough to open the main door. <laughs> and there is like no cover at all here. Hmm. Bring people like this. Well, Bennett, you should go for side entrance. So let's stick with that plan. And Vadim should be close to open this door. And then we have our heavy here. And we have some people around this side. Snipers on top. Nikolai, you could stay here. Or here. Sniper, sniper, rifleman, rifleman. Yep. Like someone opened this door. <laughs> Phew. Okay. Thank God for shields. Vadim 
Radium Shield is taking a beating. Okay, these guys are not looking to so should be able to just close this door. But I do have enough time to get to the side here. So I'm not sure about keeping Nira. Whoa. Okay. Seeing someone with a large gun inside. I think this is the last room. So yeah. How come that I can see with this? Hope they can't fire me. I'm not sure if that's a bug or if it was actually a hole in the UFO there. Okay. Bring people closer. Noise! My ears are bleeding. Thank you. A bit concerned about these guys. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It will have to do. I kind of need to check this door. Should I actually... Oh, there is one. Thinking about if the other guy went outside this way. Let's fly over with Nira here. Cannot really see him, but doesn't mean he's not there. Okay, that seems to be the same guy. Yeah, I'm going to play safe. <laughs> as safe as safe can be because this is... I've had some troubles lately. I'm not sure if keeping these guys on the side entrance so close is safe, but... At least they are still alive. Try with some uh, reactionary fire. Even if kind of using. Um, Heavies and snipers for reactionary fire, <laughs> which might be a terrible idea. The cover behind her, it's fine. Thank you! I like the fact that he was able to move from this. <laughs> this square all the way up here and then finally else just like well okay I can deal with him screw you guys okay 
Unless the store is busted. Yeah. Okay. So, time to get close and personal, but the problem is, like we saw in this room, they had at least two Herdens with uh, plasma cannons. If I get the grenade to the face here, I will... I'm not sure what I will do. I will cry. But it's not like I'm doing this super safe. It's possible that it's someone just taking this teleport down here, open this door and throw a grenade. But they could just as well do that if I take position at this door, so there's not much I can do about it. Usually they are quite stationary inside the UFO. Let's do some scalping. Nira. She's so low on time units though. But she got the suppression, so no one will have to deal with the uh, reaction fire from that guy. Still have those with the plasma cannons up there somewhere. Camping around. Mm. Yep, go. But we don't really need to care about reactionary fire then, but still can be quite lethal. One plasma cannon. Hmm. So the un other one with the plasma cannon is actually going up and down a teleport, which is good to know. People close this door. Preferably ones that can actually shoot. Don't really need the shields against high explosives. Like so, um, Kate, she's. She, been, she can be quite good to have here. Um, and this should be out of the line of sight, so. Spring Bennett as well. It's actually blocking 100%. Oh, 
Come on. Still 100%. Hmm. 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 So we get close and personal with Nira, and then just have reactionary fire against the teleport. Let's try it. Um, this might be a bad decision, or it might be the best decision ever. Well, not likely, but. Maybe, but uh, I would prefer to have no one in a position where they will just shoot at this thing and make it explode in the face of all my guys. So mashing on Kate, Vadim, Budin, Budin, covering this side. We need someone to actually cover this teleport a little bit better than she can. So all of here. I don't think you need to kneel because I need every single time unit you can spare <laughs> to actually take a shot. I mean this is I, I feel so it is so dangerous. I bet they will just throw a grenade and kill all my guys. But at least I have told you about how I'm thinking before I, I lose the game, so yeah. Come on, let's survive. Thank you very much. Um, I'm getting confused here. I was sure there was two of these herdans with scary weapons. Oh, time to do this safely then. Reload Nira's weapon because she's the one getting all the kills now. So, hmm, Manston is actually quite low as well on ammunition. Not sure if I like to spread to my guys here. I have. I feel like I have all my good versatile squad down here, and then here I have. A lot of firepower, but that's like everything I have. I guess we have Olaf here to deal with any close combat. Hmm. Okay. Not sure what that sound was all about. Seems like someone opened this door uh, by stepping right through it. Whoa! Oh, he didn't shoot me. Bennett! It's your time to shine! Yeah! Yeah, buddy! I don't like the fact that um, an anvil destroyed this door. But I do like the fact that we actually killed one anvil, so perhaps it was a good trade. Alright, we have some kind of hidden leader or elite or something. Dangerous! Oh! Alright. Only two guys in here. 
Hmm. I'm thinking if we are a actually able to kill this guy, that would be really good. Okay, missed. I kind of wanted him to take a shot at us. I don't really think Nira is in a very good position to take a shot. So let's do it. Easy dodge. Easy dodge. Alright. Running out of soldiers though. Someone needs to kill him. Oops. Hmm. Someone really needs to kill him. Uh, time for a name shot. Nah. No. Oh, burst fight is a little bit dangerous, I think. But let's do it. Good. Good job. Close door win game. So let's try to use Bennett here. I would like to get a kill on him and uh, Niera as well, if possible. She's actually starting to rack up the kills. So. Sniper scene as well. I really get the feeling that Androns and uh, Herdons are quite easy matchup. Civilians are really dangerous, I think. They can take more damage than um, Androns, and <laughs> they actually. Regenerate, which is pretty dangerous. Okay, take him down. All right, uh, where's uh, near them? <laughs> mm. Here she is. Okay, take him down. Good job. So, Bennett is now a corporal. Perfect. If you have like 10 more missions like this, then you might actually be useful. But I like the time units. That's the most important thing to get because he had really low time units. Only 16 aliens. Almost 200,000. In rewards so yeah I like that my self-esteem is rising slow and steady but uh, in the next episode we will most likely have Charlie 2 doing this crash site here that's just a small scout but would be nice for some easy experience but I will see you then thank you for watching and goodbye